But the second thing that we brought up was about grading at conventions. This was something that I brought up within the first year of me making videos because Russ and I sat down and we're like, how are they grading comic books so quickly? If you bring a comic book to a convention, does it increase the likelihood that it's going to grade higher because they're in a shorter amount of time? I wanted to get into this, but that opened up a much larger conversation about grading that actually gave me more assurance and respect to this organization. Yeah, like I've heard that rumor and I, I never really bought into it because I've had highs and lows. It hasn't been like everything's a winner. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. I would assume the company is going to grade its standards consistently. Obviously, there's a standard for grading and a, a, some type of scale or um, steps that they follow to how they grade a book and why it's assigned a certain grade that it's assigned. Okay, and it's very specific. I mean, he mentioned that. Okay, there are like over 100 plus checkpoints for a book that they can look for. It's, yeah, the, the, the conception or misconception there is that you get better grades, uh, either because we're grading fast, we have bad lighting, uh, we're under pressure, uh, or that we're just doing everybody a favor because they're paying higher prices on site, we're just gonna give better grades to offset the cost, you know. No, it, it, actually that's not true at all. We grade, our standards don't change on site at all. Uh, we bring, we have the same lighting, you know, the same everything. So like I said, just, just the walls change really. You just know, the walls. Change. Just the walls. Debunked. Change, yeah. We'll call that debunked. <laughs> debunked. <laughs> just debunked. the walls. Another debunked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we, yeah, but we know we try our hardest, especially on site, to to be consistent and to obviously catch you know any restoration, anything like that on those books. You know, trying to you know obviously the time constraints a little tighter. I feel like we grade the same. That's right. Well over a hundred checkpoints that these graders go through, and Matt said something that really stuck. He said grading high grade books is a science. Grading low grade books is an art. And that hit heavy with me too, because just to clear that up, he's basically saying that high grade is easier because you just follow the steps of, okay, a tick here, tick here, a tick there, whatever, that's your grade. But once you get low, you're taking multiple combinations of many, many things to get that 2025 3018. So you have a chip corner, you have a detached centerfold, you have a, a staple rust with migration, and you have five spine ticks, you got tanning on the back shadow, back cover, or dust shadow. I mean, you have all these things. And he, he said it's like a snowflake. Okay, not each one is the same. How many books yeah. do you guys actually think you go through in a day like thousands thousands yeah, you're so doing like, like a minute minute and a half per book or something like yeah, that yeah i mean it depends on the like a modern book would be less than a minute you know right. a, a high a nine eight modern wouldn't take long to grade at all but then on the flip side if you have like a brittle you know golden age book that's missing pages full of tape and restoration you know the time it takes to check all that put the notes in and grade it take could take several minutes could be, you know 10 minutes maybe but maybe not that maybe like five, five to ten minutes so you're, you're you know, like so. taking apart a puzzle you're taking apart but like you have a tear here you have a a chip there, I mean, you think about all the variations in a single book, and then you have to calculate that grade. And it's yeah. like almost never the same. Right. They, uh, yeah, I, I call them the, they're like snowflakes. Yeah. There's literally yeah. no two vintage books that are exactly the same. I just feel like some people have this notion that it should just be like in, out, boom, this is it. This is a 3-5, always the same. Yeah, this no. Not. Yeah, yeah, the high grades are more of a, a science, the low grades are more of an art, you know, because you've got such an accumulation of defects, like you're saying. So you can't quantify it. Like, you can quantify in the nines, you can quantify the number of stress lines or the length of a crease but when you start factoring in stains foxing you know uh, these things rust. that rust, yeah rust, there's like all shapes and sizes that you can't really quantify and then you on top of that you throw the pieces out and the creases and the tears and sure. tanning and you know all that and then you it just you know it becomes an art you're taking off for some things you know you can't go higher but you know, cumulatively, you kind of just have to eyeball it and be like, that kind of looks like a 2.5. Like, this looks like all the other 2.5s I've ever seen or graded. You know, you kind of, and that's the thing is that that's where all the grading, the experience comes into play. Yeah, it's is like where, a language almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got in your head thousands of 2.5s and thousand, maybe even hundreds of this particular copy that you've right. graded. Or if it's Spidey 1 or, you know, yeah, it might be it might be like several hundred. And so you've just seen so many, you know, them so many times and so many, you know, all the grades that when you see that, you're, you're kind of like mentally quickly comparing it to all those other ones. And that's how you arrive at the grade. Due to his vast knowledge and experience of grading probably 100,000 plus books, plus the entire team's experience who's been there since almost the beginning, a large majority of that team, it shows you that that wealth of knowledge is there. And that experience of having to grade so many 2-0s that you've seen, you're like, okay, this is like a 300 2-0s I've graded in the past. 
Okay, it's a little bit different, but this is a 2.0. I mean, it just shows you how much it takes. So it's not always that easy. You know, a book like that with 30 major defects that you have to count for in some type of value scale, okay, is going to then get you this 2.5, can take five to 10 minutes. You have a high grade book with one or two line breaks, okay, that's like a minute. Yeah, and look, we have no ties to CGC whatsoever, okay? So we don't have to say positive or negative things, whatever. But just delivering the word, okay, from a representative there and just watching the company in action, sure, I think everything can, people can make mistakes, okay? Sure, stuff happens across the board, whatever, okay? But as a whole, the company's structure and their morals are there. And they're going to try to create that same space they have back in the office, make it equivalent to a traveling space like they are at a con. The only thing different are the walls. All the equipment's the same. They even travel with the same lighting. The same people. Same people. So they just try to recreate this space that they all know how to grade in. There's also this added layer of expertise that I didn't really think of that you just reminded the audience of, and that is that these graders, they don't just have that checklist. They don't just have that mental list of what they have to do in that moment. They have that catalog, that back catalog of the hundreds, if not thousands of times they've seen that specific book in that grade. And that's something that makes CGC super competitive and every year makes them that much more dangerous in this competitive market. Yeah, and we're getting into a couple other things that's going to keep them relevant and more dangerous. Not to say that somebody can't come up as another third party grader, yeah. but they're not sitting on their laurels and they're continually trying to bring new things to the collectible market. We do have some news. Stay to the end of the video to chat about that.